It's Peter Dunkley. I'm here with Malik Smith Ban, the 2023 Champs 200m champion, also the Carifta champion, the 20.6 man and 45.7. He's going to be somebody who's going to be competing at this meet that we're going to be talking about today. Today, we're going to start a World Championship preview, but we're not going to do the predictions like everybody else. I'm not going to be talking about the winners. I'm going to be talking about the potential underdogs. So Malik, today we're going to be talking about the 100, 200 and 400 underdogs for the men and the women. And we're going to see which one of who in these events do we believe can come and upset the child, um, upset the championship. So first of all, let's start off with 100 meters. I think the 100 meters is the most unpredictable event of the champs. What do you think about that? Um, I think it should be, it should be a good race. So. Mm -hmm. It's always good when you don't know who is going to win for sure. That's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Well, first thing I want to get into, we're both going to pick one person from each event on the men's and the women's side of who we think is going to be the underdogs. So I'm going to start first with 100 meters. And 100 meters, I'm going to, I think the biggest underdog is definitely going to be Seville. He's one of the highest returning person from that finals last year. And he came fourth in the finals last year, right? Mm -hmm. So fourth he came last year. He's going to be one of the top dogs. He hasn't been having the year that everybody's expecting him to have. But you got to think, he got injured earlier in the year. So that's, that combined with him sitting out now, I think he's going to be somebody who's going to come back and be in that top form. What do you come, third at Charles? Yeah, he came so third. Third at Charles, I think he's coming back up. I think he's somebody who I'm looking to be in that medal tally that nobody's counting him right now because he's not in one of those top spots in terms of time but i think he's going to be there remember glenn mills is his coach glenn mills coach you saying both can never forget that what about you who's your men's pick for the hundred I'm, I'm looking at the numbers i think fred fred he hasn't been having some great races in mm -hmm. the past and i think a lot of people is like you're not sure about him but i think he's gonna get it right when the time is right he always does for me yeah fred, fred is that guy the last couple of years he's been definitely coming into himself and i think this year a lot of people have been doubting him yeah you feel me? So I'm thinking like this is the year where he come back now and be like, you remember 2015 they doubted Usain Bolt, yeah. even though Usain Bolt was the man. And then you know he was having a little rocky year, came back. Maybe Fred can pull that off. So I don't know. Um, the next is gonna be the women. The women is kind of like we kind of know who the top top people are in the women, yeah. but you never know. I don't think anybody's gonna get that gold medal before the race. So I'm gonna let you jump off this one for the women 100 meter. Who do you think is the underdog in that race? I think. Right about now, I think um, Shelly should pull a surprise. Hey. There's a lot of eyes out for her because they, they haven't seen her race yeah. that much. But I think she's going to get it right. She's yeah. very experienced. Yeah, without she come back the last couple of weeks and she ran some good times, 10-8, after not running that much. And you know what track is. If you're not running, everybody just forget about you. Yeah. I've seen a lot of predictions that doesn't include Shelly and Fraser. I'm going to go with Talu. See, Talu, she, she hasn't gotten a lot of like hype because she hasn't gotten those medals coming. Yeah. She's always in fourth place. But you I think, think she's coming hungrier this year? Hungrier than ever. And, you know, she's going getting up there towards the end of her career. And I know she wants to leave with something. So I think Talu definitely going to be one that she's going to come and snatch something up. Okay. But everybody, you can let me know. Let me know down in the comments who's your favorite underdogs. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Next, we're going to jump on to the 200. It's your event now. This is an event that I think you're going to be at soon, you know? Yeah. You know, Olympics um, next year, you know, not too much pressure, you see me? We want us to start the men or the female. Start with the women. Women. Start with the women this time. I'm looking, I think Dina Asha. She's Dina? in great shape. Okay. Yeah. Dina. She's going to come and come prepared. Uh, Dina had a great championship last year. Did, did she come third? Yeah, I think she she, came, she, went, she, made she got a medal in um, Eugene. I think this year, a lot of people didn't count her in it last year. And I think it's the same for this year. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm not sure if Shelly Ann is going to run the 200. She's down on the Jamaican team to mm -hmm. run it. But I'm not sure if she's actually going to run it. We'll, we'll wait and see. But I think Dina is definitely going to be in the mix. Yeah. For me, it's actually going to be Shakiri. Shakiri. I think a lot of people underrate her 200 meters. Yeah, for real. She ran 21 before, yeah, right? Yeah, she ran 21. She's a 21 second runner. I think that's something that if she runs that time in the finals, it's almost right. impossible for somebody to not to not medal with running 21. I don't think I've ever seen that. That would have been like a hard one. What about the men? Men, um, I'm looking at Ben Neri. Yo. He hasn't been right at the top, but he's always in the mix. Yeah, uh, he, for sure. He's a guy, he's living with a medal. He's yeah. living here with yeah, something. Always, always. always living with something. Like I think he wants to upgrade that to a goal, honestly, yeah, but... Sure. With you know Noah and um, Tobogo, that's gonna be tough. Ar Arian right there, you know him and Arian be going head to head. I I could see him going with something. That's this is gonna be one of the hottest 200 meters. You know yeah. that. And Zardel is in good shape as well. 
You know, Zarnell's third place the other day when he ran um, 197. Yeah. That's the fastest third place ever oh, for real? in history. Yeah, that 197 was the yeah, fastest. That was like the national record. And that, he got the national record. I think at World Championship, that record is going to be broken. As in, like, there's going to be a faster third place mm -hmm. ever. Like, I think 195, 196 might oh, come yeah. third. Okay. That 200 is here. Wait, wait, what time do you think winning? Something fast. Okay. I'm not going to put nothing out there. <laughs> hey, y'all let me know. What time do you think going to win that 200 meters? I know it's going to be something fast, but I don't, I, I don't know. You know, you're going to have to step your game up, bro. Because, yeah. you know, this, this is your event. Exactly, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, it's definitely going to be Andre Degrassi. I'm telling you, this is an Olympic medalist. Well, he always put together a good race during the season. He's, he's not really an um, early season proper. Yeah. So I think he should be in great shape by then. Bro, just look at the um, season he's been having so far. So far, he's been shaky, shaky. And then comes Canadian China, Chiles. What do you do? Win. Got the qualifying time. No, he's there. And I always have a theory. I don't know if anybody agree with me. If you run a time in the past, it's somewhere in your legs. Mm -hmm. So 196 in his legs, if he could go back and run that back again, He's going to be right there in the mix. As I said, I think it's going to be one of the fastest years in the 200 meters. Mm -hmm. So who knows if 196 is even going to get a medal. Yeah. But more than likely, it will. So if Degrassi can get back to that level, yeah. I think it can. Okay. Um, so for the final sprint event for this series, it's going to be the 400 meter. That's the event that we bought, right? So, you know, it's going to be the mm -hmm. sp special one. So I'm going to kick it off with the 400 meters. And we're going to kick it off with the men underdog. For me, that's going to be Vernon Norwood. Vernon's been around a long time. Yeah, he's he has always in the mix. Okay. Always in the mix. And like he got second place at US Charles. I definitely think that's a chap me he could have won. Mm -hmm. But I think the main one is going to be the one that he's aiming for. Mm -hmm. I know V and I know that he's somebody who's aiming for the top. Like he's not going there just to be there. Mm -hmm. Like he's going to go through and going to be in the rounds. And based on how he's been running this year, mm -hmm. I think he's going to be in the finals. And once you're in the finals, yeah, anything's yeah, possible. Don't yeah. Once he, once he get around that curve mm -hmm. and start kicking, you gotta look at the line like I gotta. Leave. I'm I'm leaving here with something. Yeah. You know what I mean? What do you think? Who's I'm, who's I'm your upset? I'm looking at Sean Bailey. He looks good. He looked great at the trials, at the Jamaican yeah. trials. Facts. He has been having consistent races. He's mm -hmm. been consistently down in the forty four lows. Yeah. And I think he's in a better form than last year and yeah. even the year before that. And he won the trials. So I think he should come in the world championship with game mode. I think yeah. he have a point to prove. No, definitely, Sean Bailey, man. He, this is his first year under 45, and I think everybody learned about him when he beat Kirani James. Mm -hmm. You beat somebody like that, you're definitely putting your name out there. And then he followed that up by winning at Charles. And he's right there. And as you said, it's one thing to run the 44 one time, yeah. but to come back and run it again and again. Yeah. And I still think he has a next P PB in him. He already ran 45-4. So if you can get mm -hmm. to that 44 low range, yeah. I can see him living there with something. Uh, also, uh, uh, Ryan Roberts, you know. Ryan yeah, Roberts. Yeah. He came second in the 100 at the Jamaica Trials. Yeah. He should be very competitive in that world champion too. He's a sleeper. Yeah. He's going to come step yeah. in. Yeah, so jumping back to the 100 meters, yeah. so Ryan Roberts, that's somebody that, you know, is not a big name, but he's on the team and he's going to yeah. be lining up with everybody. So that might be a sleeper back in the 100 meters that I think that might be, you know, make some noise. So jumping over back down to the 400 meters, and we know we're talking about a woman. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say Nasser. Nasser? Nasser, Bahrain. Okay. You know, she, she was out of there for a couple of years because mm -hmm. of that little band. But now she's back and she's dropped some good times. But I think people forgot about her because she hasn't been running the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that she's not injured. I haven't seen anything on the internet. But she, if she's healthy and she's running, you got to remember when she won the world championship. Yeah. Everybody has Shawnee and Miller to win that outright. And Nasser came through, pieced the race up, big yeah. championship. So I think she's, she's definitely my sleeper in that. Everybody is saying that, you know, it's going to be Sydney all the way. Yeah. But I think Nasser is going to come in and shake it up. Okay. What do you think about yours? I'm looking at Candice McLeod. Candice McLeod, Jamaica. Yeah, she looks she look good at the trials. Yeah. I think she should come running. Yeah, look, Candice, she's going to be in the finals. I'm confident in that. I think, you know, the Jamaica quarter mile squad on the girls' side has been consistent the last couple of years. I mean, if you look at the 4x4, I think we got a medal every year in that women's 4x4. And in the last recent years, Candice McCall has been a big reason why. Yeah. And I think, you know, with where she's going with her career, I think this would be a perfect year for her to step up and do something big. So, as we said, you get in the finals, anything's possible. But those are going to be our sleepers in the sprint events. Oh, you guys let me know down in the comments. If you like the series, we're going to continue it. So the next, we're going to do the field events. And then after that, we're going to do distance, distance events. Everybody always talk about the winners. But nobody talk about the underdogs until they happen. So we're trying to predict who's going to be the underdogs. So let us know down in the comments. Out of these events, who do you think is going to be the underdogs? If they're the same as who we pick, 
or if they're different based on what you think is going to happen. Thank you for watching.